Welcome to Medicine Master Academy and today we will discuss what you need to know about toxic epidermal necrolysis for the Step 2 CK. Let's consider this clinical scenario. A 48-year-old man presents to the emergency department with a rapidly evolving rash over the last four days. He describes the onset as a high fever and painful red skin that started on his face and chest, rapidly spreading to cover almost his entire body surface. He has been feeling generally unwell and nauseated with difficulty eating due to painful mouth sores. Two weeks prior to symptom onset, he was prescribed phenytoin for new onset seizures. Physical examination reveals extensive blistering and sloughing of the skin on his trunk, face, arms, and legs, involving approximately 70% of his body surface. His oral and ocular mucosa also show erosions and blisters. His blood pressure is slightly low, and he has tachycardia. This patient has toxic epidermal necrolysis. Toxic epidermal necrolysis is a severe and potentially life-threatening form of drug-induced skin reaction characterized by extensive necrosis and detachment of the epidermis. The exact pathogenesis is still not entirely understood, but it's believed to involve cytotoxic T-cell-mediated apoptosis of keratinocytes. Risk factors include the recent introduction of certain high-risk drugs, including sulfonamides, anti-epileptics, certain antibiotics, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, HIV infection, and possibly genetic factors. The incidence is rare but serious, with an estimated 1-2 cases per million population annually. Toxic epidermal necrolysis initially presents as a fever alongside what might appear to be flu-like symptoms. This progresses to painful skin changes that emerge as erythematous or red, purpuric macules. These macules quickly spread and converge. Concurrent mucosal involvement is common, affecting the ocular, oral, and genital areas. On physical examination, a defining characteristic of 10 is the presence of Mikulski's sign, where gentle pressure causes the top layer of the skin to shear off. Erythematous or purpuric macules are widespread, rapidly evolving into blisters that are flaccid to the touch due to their shallow nature and eventually leading to extensive detachment of the skin. Mucosal surfaces, including the mouth, eyes, and genitals, often exhibit blisters and erosions. In severe cases, signs of sepsis or organ failure may be detected. The diagnosis is primarily clinical. Skin biopsy is the gold standard for confirmation, showing full thickness, epidermal necrosis, and minimal inflammation. For the treatment, immediate discontinuation of all monoessential medications, particularly any recent medication, is mandatory. Supportive care is crucial, including wound care, pain control, nutritional support, and prevention of complications. Systemic corticosteroids and intravenous immunoglobulin, IVIC, have been used in treatment, but their effectiveness is still a subject of debate and research. Complications include electrolyte imbalances, scarring, changes in skin pigmentation, chronic ocular complications, infections, sepsis, and death. And this is what you need to know about toxic epidermal necrolysis for the Step 2 CK. For more information about our courses, visit our website.